Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Well, let's face it. The Dark Armor, or Dark Knight Armor, is the superior one. Now, I tried the Saleswood Armor for a couple of episodes. Now it's time to switch to my all-time favorite. And it also happens to have a good deal of resistance and, you know, sturdiness and all those lovely things. So, what? do we need to do in today's episode so yeah let me remember uh, yesterday we gave mr. Siegvert his armor so he should should no longer be up there and we also opened up a shortcut uh, if I'm not mistaken oh yes we opened up a nice nice shortcut now i can access the upper part of the cathedral by going this way now Siegvert is not here obviously because he moved away and in order to access the upper part again all i need to do is just come through here as something dies now I understand I do really need to farm up a bit. I'll do it later. It, needs, it requires time, it requires doing the same thing over and over again and I'd rather go to the Farren's Keep and farm there. Well not really farm there, just you know have more options open to me. Because at least I do have some objectives when I arrive there. We die. Uh, that guy is patrolling, good for me. And the way forward is through here. Now the reason I came this way is I also now want to open the path to Rosario's fingers. Just open the path, nothing too serious. And by the way, we have a clear view of the boss chamber which is lovely to say the least now the way to the boss chamber is through here i really would love to take a shot at mr giant over there see if i can uh, kill it I'm not certain, but at least I would like to try. Ah, you still got me. Good for you, man. Nicely done. As I turn the volume down a bit, because I could not hear myself. Anyway. Um, so, Rosaya's chamber should be... Not here, really. Oh, and speaking of which... If I do, or if I do things correctly, and trigger patches, he should be right here, wearing uh, Siegvert's armor and trying to talk to him. Obviously, we know there's something fishy because we've already talked to Siegvert and his voice sound weird, actually a bit higher pitched than Siegvert's. So, of course, you have a choice and you take... The hint is like, there's a treasure over there, you should probably go take it. And this bridge is like this. So the second you arrive here, he will lower the bridge. Thus, uh, giving you a bit of a trouble with the giant over there and stuff. Now, there is a another thing. If... You have already defeated both these giants, he will have a different line of text or different different voice uh, line which says that there should be giants down there. Where are they? And of course, obviously, you've dealt with them. You just go back to him and he apologizes just like he always do throughout all the games and everything is going to be fine according to him. And you buy the Katarina armor off of him and you give it to Siegvert. 
Either way, um, this is one of the two possible triggers for patches. The second one, obviously, we got yesterday, which is the Firelink one. As I turn around and move left and right, oh yes, this is the way. This is definitely, definitely the way. Now, just like I said, Rosaria is quite an interesting NPC, so to say. First of all, she's the f Fingers Covenant, you know, the Fingers who are an extremely evil kind of uh, people. They are Red Invaders and they take the tongue of their victims, which is, uh, so to say, not a nice thing to do. Uh, this is Rosaria, and she bears close resemblance to Guinevere from Dark Souls 1. Kind of a twisted and weird Guinevere from Dark Souls 1. There's a lot of speculation about her. Now, the reason I'm not going to talk to her, because, um, first of all, I don't want to alter my appearance, nor do I want to respec. I don't have anything to respec. But if I do talk to her, I would have to join the Covenant. If I do join the Covenant, we will advance with Mr. Bloodborne Hunter, the guy who's leaning on the Firelink Shrine who gave us the Red Orb. I kind of forget his name sometimes. Sorry. We can advance his uh, quest. Uh, otherwise, if we do so, by the way, we will break our quest line with the Servant of the Sunless Realms. Again, I did forget her name. You know what? <laughs> you know how it is for me. So, yeah. All in all, these things I will do later at the end of the game. We'll first continue the quest of the Sunless Realms. Uh, once it's finished, I will go back and uh, continue the friends of Gothard, I think. No, it's not Gothard. No, 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 no. Gothard, I think it's another NPC. But yeah, once I remember, I'd say its name. So now we continue normally. Today's menu is trying my luck with the giants see if I can do anything to them and then advance into the boss fight where am I going? where am I going? is this the right way? oh yes it's the right way well, I thought I was uh, going somewhere else of course I'm not going to fight you here, don't worry. Ow, dude, I said I'm not going to fight you here. Why are you being so mean to me? Kind of makes me sad because... I just died. That's why I'm sad. I had the, I had the binoculars? Why? It was probably from last day's episode. I had the binoculars on, but... What makes me sad... And we actually are going to discover that in a, in not so long, actually, is the fact that giants used to be friendly. There was a giant smith back in Dark Souls 1. Heck, there's uh, Hawkeye, I think his name is. Uh, another giant you will find in the past. Uh, it's another smith who carves those stones, those wooden... Well, not stones, they're wooden carvings that he kind of like magically record his voice in them. And they're like a very popular item. And it will, <clears throat> you know, he talks to you and everything. And he single handedly helps you defeat the dragon in Dark Souls 1. Now. two attacks. Now, 
if I was in a more serious mode, I would be able to dodge based on the sound he makes. But being clumsy, as I, us I am usually, uh, speaking of which, again, use a number. Why should I use a number? Because I think now we can get an NPC invasion that we wanted. I'm not certain, but I hope for it. And yes, um, in this current Dark Souls we will not see, um, we will only see one of the most dearest giants to us later. No invasion. Well damn. I don't know. I must have done something wrong. And that's it. Now this is a tough place because we only can move like this. And it's problematic. I have two choices. Kill them and take the items or take the items and run away. Now I'd rather kill the giants because they do give me some lovely things. But being extremely you know impaired it's gonna be tough. What the heck hit me? And someone is attacking. I'm uh, I'm gonna stop talking so I can concentrate on the fight. Ow! What the heck is shooting at me? Don't tell me. It's the guy from 10,000 meters above me. Oh man, holy crap. Are you serious? It's never happened to me. Really. He is actually sniping me. Damn. You sack of shit. I see you now. Bastard. That's alright. We got a set for. Not for me, really. And this is the giant drop. Which is a very interesting drop. Because it gives us a large titanite shard. A nice item for leveling up our weapon. So it's a, it's a really good thing that I killed the giant. Because it gives us a large titanite shard. And that will enable us to go plus five. If I do remember, or if I do recall correctly, which is huge for this portion of the game. But at the time being, I don't think I even have enough, you know, Titanite charge to go plus four. But nevertheless, it will happen. And it still is going to be a huge step forward. The bone is probably telling me you should probably just use it and go back to the bonfire. But no, not really. I'm just gonna use the daggers. And do this. In order to go past this pond fast. He uses FP, of course, but uh, it's not going to be that much FP, really. And it can you can do it despite the FP loss. No, 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 no. I just want you guys. There you go. One. And two. Now, one thing I've uh, wanted to do is switch to Irithyll 
heal before I die. I know, I know, like you're big and and do this. One. Oh, no. So if I kick him twice, I break his shield. Something that I cannot... Ooh, give us a great mace. Something that I cannot do, really, with uh, the current weapon that I have. I'll stick to it. See if it does proc on this giant. Uh, the place is filled with uh, these fellas right here. Anything with fire really can dispose of them. So even your bombs can do quite a lot of damage as you can see. One bomb is enough. Now let's have the giant come so we can Oh yes, uh, he does have a, a ranged attack. And it's kind of a problematic ranged attack. He does not follow, so I need to go to him if I want to really attack him. Now. Good news is that he will attack these things too, so eventually he will kill them for me. No, don't kick, buddy. Just hit. The only thing that makes this fight a bit challenging is the stupid leeches, as you can see. Just dodge them and everything's gonna be fine. Like I said, he will eventually kill them. Ow! Yeah, but once they bunch up like this, uh, it's a tough one. Come on. There you go. Hit those bastards. Kill them for me. Almost there. Nice attack. That's a lovely sweep attack. Are they all dead? No, of course not. They really gave me a tough problem. So I'm a kid. Good die, bastards. Stupid. You're still alive? Are you serious? How much HP? Damn. That much, huh? He still isn't gonna die anytime soon. And that is uh, a bit of a problem because we do not have... Are you serious? I just watched myself die. Damn it. I was like, I need to dodge at the right time. And what did I do? Perish. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it all. Now all the damn bleaches are gonna be back. Uh, it shouldn't... It should be... It should... There should be another more interesting shortcut. Am I missing it? Oh yes, maybe it's the other way. Maybe this is not the way. I keep forgetting that this is the second shortcut that I opened. Yes, yes, yes. That's the elevator to the top part. And this is the way. It will 
go directly to where I used to be. All right, there we go. You die. And you need to die. Bastards. Recover my souls. Which is kind of a lot. And now let's try to do it. Holy shit. It's actually... They need to die. <clears throat> if I am to survive, they need to hit the bloody dust. I know, I'm using a lot of these numbers. But, yeah, they, otherwise... Why would I not use the numbers? Ah, oh, stop throwing. Just go back to your initial position. There you go. Now let me deal with this. Let's keep bastards. You still not? Oh my god. Go away. Sit. Bitch. <laughs> Look at this. Stupid slow moving. Problem giving rats. Here you go. Sit down. Now we can have a nice quiet fight together. You are me and the giant. Yeah, it's... I really need to just be out of the way of his attacks, otherwise it makes no sense he will still hit me. I guess being in the middle like that is gonna give me an advantage. Like so. Ah uh, yeah, the foot stomp is still gonna get me. I don't know. You should be at your death door. There you go. Of course, I'm not going to go directly to the boss right now. I'm still going to need to go to the bonfire first. I will need to kill this. Idiots first. Yeah, that attack. That attack is what killed me the first time. I was dumb not to kill them. And the result was me dying. I would find the kind of the Drang set here. It's scattered all over the place. Drang armor. Or aka Game of Thrones armor. A good one. Nicely nicely put and cosmetic wise, it's an amazing one. Now this is the second large Titanite shard. This is the main reason why they died. No, no, the, the main reason why they died is the dung pie. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Damn. It's that late already. The Drang Hammers. I think I'm going to use the Drang Hammers a bit. I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe not. Alright. We're here. Just going to explore the place a bit. Take the items needed to, to be taken. And and then just go back to the bonfire and in the next episode I will be going straight for the Deacons of the Deep. Remember? They are ranged so they need to die. Second one needs to come to me. Oh dude, why are you breaking your church? Don't be ignorant yes. and you just came at the right time ooh that shoulder push that 
stupid shoulder push. Oh well. It's a swift trip to the bonfire. Man, I died a lot in the church. That doesn't happen that often, but yeah, I died a lot here. Mostly because I've been dumb. But yeah. This is gonna be, of course, the end of this episode. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Where we'll go directly, fight the Deacons of the Deep, and advance, hopefully, to the Farron. Or the Abyss Watchers. So... See you guys when I see you.